And some disturbing new details around a deadly hit and run in Everett. Patty Oman was hit and killed by a driver there last month. Tonight, new court documents say the woman charged with the crime was found passed out in her car. She had tin foil and drugs in her hands and a one year old in the back seat. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman joining us now in the studio. So, Alejandra, how was this woman caught and what's the latest on this case? Well, the woman was wanted for over a month and it all it took was for the Everett Police Department was for somebody to report that her SUV was blocking a parking lot driveway. Officers were then able to confront her and connect her to Patty's death when they noticed significant damage to the front right passenger side of the car. Every moment that we were hoping to have with her in her old age just feels robbed from us, from her sister, from um, her nieces and nephews. A painful reality for Patricia Oman's family. The 80-year-old was hit and killed as she walked along Old Broadway from the D&J market back home on August 15th, a trek she made daily. These court documents paint a clear picture of what really happened. A witness says he was behind a silver SUV when it veered to the right over the fog line, hitting Patty. He says the SUV stopped and he called 911. He watched as a woman got out to see Patty, who lay motionless on the grass and bleeding. He noticed the driver, he described as annoyed or agitated, return to the SUV and drive away. We did have some time to say goodbye, um, but she wasn't she wasn't aware or conscious. The active and independent woman died four days later from her injuries. Meanwhile, the manhunt for the driver was on. You may not have meant to, but you still need to be accountable for your actions and face consequences. As her family pleaded for justice, Everett police responded to a call on September 9th where a silver Ford Escape was blocking a driveway. Inside, court documents say they found 32-year-old Amber Conway passed out with aluminum foil and a lighter in her hands, a hollow tube by her feet, and what appeared to be fentanyl in her bra. In the back seat, her one-year-old son. Officers noted the escape had damages to the passenger side, broken headlight, turn signal, and a missing fog light. Conway was arrested and her SUV impounded. Eleven days later, detectives got a search warrant for the escape where they found blood on the bumper. Pieces of the SUV found at the hit and run were compared and, according to police, fit Conway's escape. She was arrested on an unrelated charge of taking a motor vehicle. Detectives also filed charges for the hit and run, requesting bail be set at $100,000 due to the danger the community this defendant poses. Court documents also say officers have been in contact with the father of Conway's children who said they met in Everett the day of the hit and run to exchange custody of their children around 6. The incident was then reported around 6.30. As of tonight, Conway remains in jail and is scheduled for trial in December. Back to you.